It's time for Good Energy, and I'm Dr. Julie, and today we are on Bodyful Day 80. And breath, conscious breath, day three. Today we're going to talk about how to breathe into your sacrum. There are no props. I have a prop, but you don't need it. All right, let's take a deep breath in and release. Deep breath in all the way from the bottom all the way to the top think about expanding your belly out and expanding your back out you can also think about your sinuses take a deep breath in and release and think about any gunk you got going on today think about where it's sitting how it's affecting you and Deep breath in and release. I forgot to turn the night shift on on my computer and so I spent the day most of the time looking at my computer and I can feel it right here. So remember from the red shift body full if you shift your computer, I have a MacBook, I can shift it over to night shift early and it makes it warmer and easier on the eyes. Thinking about ways to get good energy in. All right, so this is body full day three. Body full, or this is breath day three. Breath day one, we talked about breathing deep in so that you can expand your belly and expand your back. Breathing down into here. And how it's kind of uncomfortable to do that because we're always taught to be tight and rock hard and have solid abs and taking a breath out or expanding into the back <sighs> makes you bigger and bigger isn't good culturally but it is good health wise and I also told you yesterday the mosquitoes are up so um, telling you today the mosquitoes are up um, yesterday we talked about breathing into your sinuses and out and how breathing into your sinuses gives just a little bit of cranial motion that is actually important. Cranial sacral therapists, cranial sacral therapists, know that that motion is important because there is the cranial sacral pump that pumps cr uh, cerebral spinal fluid throughout from your head all the way down to your tailbone and back up again. And it nourishes your spinal cord and your brain. Without that pump moving, your body and brain, your brain and your spinal cord don't get the nourishment that they need. So, breathing into your sinuses and filling those air pockets with air expands your skull and then returns it to normal and acts like a pump. Now, today we are going to talk about that last component of conscious breathing, which happens with your sacrum. So instead of having you look at my butt the entire time, I've brought a prop, which is a little Duplo car. Um, so, and I'm still trying to get eaten. Ah, got away. Um, little Duplo car. So imagine that this little Duplo car is your sacrum. Your hip bones are on either side, and this is your sacrum. And your sacrum is kind of attached at one's point. And so when you breathe in, and it's not the best example, but when you breathe in, your sacrum is supposed to go like this. And then when you breathe out, your sacrum is supposed to go like this. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, there's a little bit more motion to it. It's supposed to breathe in and then breathe out. We call it nutation and counter nutation. Um, it is the motion of the sacrum with breath. Nutation, breathe in, curl under. Breathe out, come back up, and go back out. Now, this is the other part of that cerebral spinal fluid pump, the cranials and the sacrals. And it's very hard to imagine it, but you've got to think about it in terms of all three units, your sinuses, your belly, and your sacrum working all together. So when you take a deep breath into your belly, here's your sacrum, when you take a deep breath into your belly, you push all your organs down, and in pushing them down, your sacrum goes down 
and tucks under. And then when you release, it comes back up, goes down. Deep breath in, your diaphragm goes down. Deep breath up, comes back up. Breathe in, diaphragm goes down, organs go down. It's a little too much count or nutation, but back up. So you can see that breathing into your belly causes the sacrum to have its own pumping action. And that pumping action, down, push back up. Come down, push back up. Acts as the pump for the bottom end of the fluid. So we've got a pump here. Take a deep breath in. This goes out, this goes out, that tucks under. And then when you blow out, this pushes, the sacrum pushes back in, the cranials come back in, and the fluid goes up. Breathe in, push down, breathe out, push up. Breathe in, push down, push up. Breathe in, push down, push up. So we can breathe consciously into our belly, but now I want you to think about breathing consciously into your sacrum. Feel that sacrum go under and come back up as part of the entire pump. Breathe in, breathe out. And you can feel it just around that low back. You can kind of feel it. You concentrate on the gap. You can even amplify it if you tighten your abs a little bit. If you tighten your abs and don't allow yourself to expand outward to the front, if you tighten your abs, you're actually going to push that sacrum back even more. And if you want, you can actually rock. So conscious breathing, because of the idea that we're working with the cerebral spinal fluid, we are working with the nervous system squishing the organs and bringing them back up. If you want to talk about it from when we talked about twisting, the importance of squishing organs and releasing them, squishing organs and releasing them. Breathing deeply squishes the organs in your belly and then out. So we are massaging passing nutrition. We are stimulating the vagus nerve, which calls, causes calming action. We are moving the cranials around, which causes the, that little bit of motion actually helps reduce a lot of people's headaches and interestingly nightmares. Um, so that little bit of motion in the head by breathing into the sinuses, that little bit of motion by breathing down into your belly and feeling your sacrum shift and come back up is really good for conscious breathing. So we've got three parts. And with this third part of breathing into our sacrum, we've started to venture away from breathing into normal things. We're now breathing into other parts of your body. And so for the next couple of days, we're going to talk a little bit more about how to imagine breath going into other parts of your body. All right, I hope you have a great day. Let's finish off with a nice deep breath in and release. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.